Hey there. Welcome to the Flute 360 Podcast. I'm Dr. Heidi K. Begay, and I'm thrilled to be your guide on this musical journey. Whether it's personal growth, artistry, or building your flute business, this podcast is your one-stop studio for all things flute. I created Flute 360 because, like you, I realized there was so much more to learn beyond what school offered. Together, we'll explore how to amplify your voice both on and off the stage, ensuring you feel artistically and financially fulfilled. That's what 360 is all about, covering all the bases so you can thrive. Today's episode 295 is titled, Transform Your Routine, Leading with Non-Negotiables. Struggling to get into the music school of your dreams? Feeling disconnected from your artistic voice? You're not alone, and you don't have to navigate this journey by yourself. At the Flute 360 Studio, we offer one-on-one support to help you overcome these challenges. With only four spots left and a deadline of September 1st, now is the time to invest in yourself. Whether you need help pivoting back into music or finding support when it feels like no one else understands, we're here for you. Let's transform your flute journey together. Email me at HeidiKBegay at gmail.com or visit my website. Links are in the show notes below. Thanks. Hey there, Flute 360 year. So as we are going into the new academic year, I want to get you excited and I want to inspire you for the academic year 24-25. And in addition to that, I want to really continue these amazing conversations that I had with each of you at NFA in San Antonio, Texas. I don't know about you, but that was a really special convention and thank you to everybody who was involved not only the coordinators, the planners, but the judges, the teachers, the performers, and like. So I had a really great time with you at the Flute 360 booth and post-presentation on Sunday, August 4th. So many of you were extremely vulnerable and honest with me as to where you are currently in this particular season of your life. And boy, oh boy, do I resonate with where you are as the 360 year. Whether you are trying to get your bearings, your flute studio is thriving, you're in a gap year and you don't know who to study with, man, I've been there at some point within my own career. So I see you, I hear you, and I empathize with you. And one thing that I really noticed from all of these different walks of life and flute journeys is there are a lot of different themes connected among all of you, which is really neat. You could be a 16-year-old, a 36-year-old, or a 66-year-old, but the one thing that I see time and time again is you want somebody to believe in you. You want to be inspired. You want to be motivated and held accountable. So I don't care if you are in between college or graduate school, or thinking about going back to school for a performer certificate, starting up your flute studio, your playing career, and the like, I see you, okay? And one thing that I wanted to bring to your attention today were non-negotiables. What are your non-negotiables? And the reason why I want to talk about this topic is because Again, I see you as this amazing modern day flutist, but you're trying to do all the things. Now you mean well, trust me. (laughs) If you were to talk to Eric right now, he'd be like, oh my gosh, Heidi, you try to do all the things too. So I don't want you to burn out before we even get into the new academic year. And yes, through Flute 360, we have talked a lot about priorities, time management skills, how to manage your energy levels, and the like. But this is something that I haven't 
phrased in this particular way before. What are your non-negotiables? And the reason why I frame it this way is because you are trying to do all the things. But guess what? You've heard me say this a million times. You are a human. You are not a robot. And you care. You have the biggest hearts that I know. You care so much about your passions, your goals, everything in between, your students, your family. And I need you to really scale back and say, yes, okay, planning for that festival, that's great. Building up your studio, that's great. Putting out your remote flute course, great. But we need to focus. We need to really come in, figure out what your priorities are, figure out one target at a time so you can be clear, focused, and hit the target. Yes, life will get messy. Yes, it's not always going to be this clear cut steps one, two, three. But I see a lot of you, a lot of 360 years, so you're not alone. I see a lot of 360 years trying to take on the world. And that's ambitious. And I respect that. But please, please, please ask yourself, what are your non-negotiables? And by doing this, it will kind of automatically reprioritize your life. So some non-negotiables can be for your personal development, business development, your family, things like that. And you know, a lot of times I share this mantra of kiss it, keep it simple, smarty, okay? So a few weeks ago, I brought up the point of like, hey, if you want to develop your career, you know, Dr. McDermott, my master's, my graduate professor back in 09 would encourage me, pick three things to work on towards your career every day. It can really be that simple. So let's scale back. Your non-negotiables, what are the one, two, or three things? Keep it simple, Smarty. What are the few things every day that you must accomplish? The few things that will make you feel like, yes, I have conquered it, and anything after that is air quote, extra. It's the cherry on top. Now, you can get super clever. If it's only a few things a day that you are going to designate as your non-negotiables, maybe pick your top three areas. So for instance, Flute 360 is all about how everything is interconnected. I really care about the person, the artist, and the business go-getter. So as you can see in those three pillars, we are looking at the person, mind, body, spirit, the artist, how you are developing as a flutist and your business. So you can choose those three pillars for yourself. I know that if I can accomplish a few goals within each one of those pillars, then I've had a successful day. And of course, my disclaimer is seasons will change right? And you're going to ebb and flow with life per that season. These non-negotiables won't always be sketched in stone. They won't always be etched down and written down with a permanent marker. You can write these in pencil so you can erase them later. But my non-negotiables right now in this current season of my life is my health and my spiritual growth. So I am really focused in on spending time with God and making sure I get some physical exercise in. The reason why these are my non-negotiables is, is because I know I cannot do life alone. I need Christ to guide me through my personal and my business endeavors. And I love being in a relationship with Him. So being in Scripture, the first 30 minutes of my day, whether it's while I'm putting on makeup or on the treadmill or outside with the kitty cats, the first 30 minutes I am reading the Bible or I am listening to a Christian-based podcast like Leading the Way with Dr. Michael Youssef. And I will go through a particular sermon series with him and journal, take down notes, Bible verses, etc., those 30 minutes of being in scripture is a non-negotiable for me. 
And with that, that's kind of in this personal growth, spiritual growth area. For me, when I do that, I feel very grounded for the day, for the week, for the month, etc. That's a non-negotiable. Another non-negotiable that I am practicing in my life is exercise, physical exercise. Now, I encourage you for you to consider this being one of your non-negotiables. Get your heart rate pumping. Get the blood flowing. Get it circulating. It will release tension through your mind, your spirit, your body, and your body will be able to relax. It will be able to breathe. Now think of that groundwork. If you can get on that page where your mind, body, and spirit are in alignment with themselves, think of how you can come into your other personal or professional goals so much more easy, right? Think of how then you can approach the music stand and the music scores on your stand with ease and clarity because you, yourself, and I, you're in alignment with yourself. So for me, I'm keeping it really simple smarting. Two non-negotiables. I am going to be reading in the Bible, reading scripture, and exercising at least twice a day. See how simple it can be? By stating that for myself and saying this for this particular season, Heidi, this is what you're focused on, then the rest of the day flows so beautifully. And by doing this, what I have noticed is having that focus on the non-negotiables, it makes the other things in life reshift, reprioritize. So for example, I used to, in the evenings, watch TikTok reels for 30, 40 minutes. Now that my priority is to work out twice a day, guess what? That evening TikTok spiel, whatever, is gone. I don't have time anymore just to peruse through TikTok because my priority is an evening workout on the treadmill. That automatically deletes and gets rid of the garbage in my life. And at least for me, it's very refreshing. And I feel empowered. I want this for you. I want you to feel empowered. I want you to have clarity. And I know I talk a lot about time management and organization and things like that, but there's a lot of truth to knowing what your priorities are, knowing what your vision, your mission, how you are utilizing your time, energy, and money. It is so crucial for you to then make headway towards your personal business and artistic goals. Now, if one of your non-negotiables is, I will practice and I want to practice, I want to practice 30 minutes a day, then by you shifting and saying, okay, metronome is out, it's a visible, visual reminder for me to practice, for me to explore, for me to be with my instrument, then guess what? You're going to go right to that instrument at the beginning of the day. And I've been noticing, I've been saying that a lot in this solo episode, go to your non-negotiables head first at the start of your day. I think there's a lot of validity to that because then once you accomplish your priorities head first, perhaps anywhere between eight to 11 a.m., then anything after that, again, it's extra. It's like, oh, wow, I got to accomplish even more goals than my top few priorities. And lastly, the other observation that I want to share with you as I'm focusing on my two non-negotiables is I'm not worried. I am not tied up anymore with life's distractions. Now, it's not to say that I'm perfect. Of course, I'm going to get bombarded from all different sides. And yes, I'm going to try to think that I can do all the things. But when I put my priorities on those non-negotiables, everything else feels like priority number 10, 11, 12. It does not hold as much weight to me anymore. 
For instance, I remember waking up first thing in the morning, and yes, I love a clean house. Who doesn't? I can't think in a messy house. But I would always get distracted by going right into dishes, right into laundry, right into sweeping. And the next thing you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's noon, and I haven't even gotten to working out yet. And then I think, oh, it's too late. I'm not going to do it anymore. But if you shift that exercise, if that's your non-negotiable, if you shift that exercise to the top of your day, and don't worry about the dirty laundry that's sitting on the floor as of yet, then you're going to be focused on getting on those tennis shoes, putting on your gym clothes, and heading out the door ASAP. Then when you come back to the house for household chores, working with your family, working with clients, students, and the like, you're going to be refreshed. You're going to be extremely present because you know you have conquered your non-negotiables at the head of the day and everything else just falls into place. So as a summation, I really encourage you to figure out what your one, two, or three non-negotiables are. Is it practicing 30 minutes a day? Is it meditating? Is it a clean house and really doing a quick, deep clean for 30 minutes at the beginning of your day? Whatever it is, be honest and true to yourself and ask yourself what your non-negotiables are. And if you need help to organizing your time, organizing your energy and your money, I have a lot of past Food360 episodes that pertain to this very thing. And I believe specifically it's episodes 136 through 138 is a time management series. But I have a lot more of other episodes out there under this umbrella. And lastly, lastly, (laughs) I don't know how many lasts there were or are, but here we go. The other thing that I really love framing my time and energy into is using Benjamin Franklin's schedule as a guide for my own day-to-day schedule. Google it. It's really cool. You'll love it. He even poses two questions at the top and at the end of each of his days. And I really like his mindset. So Google that, Benjamin Franklin's schedule, and it will pop right up. Hopefully that will give you some inspiration as you're heading into your new academic year. Speaking of order and cleanliness and having your steps guided by the Lord, I wanted to offer you two Bible verses in closing. The first one is, and it comes from 1 Corinthians 14.40, where the Apostle Paul tells us, let all things be done decently and in order. Another one that I really love a lot is from Psalms 37.23, and it states, The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in his way. I hope that this episode brings you comfort, confidence, and empowerment as you head into the new week. Talk to you soon. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Flute 360. Before you go, I've got something exciting to share. Our Flute360 Accelerator program is offering a free trial for the rest of August 2024. This is your one chance this year to access our supportive community, explore over 25 videos, and connect with our special guests for the fall 2024 semester including Dr. Catherine Eminent, Jolene Madewell, Dr. Danette Derby McDermott, Corey Barger, and more. Whether you need personal, artistic, or business growth, we're here for you. But act fast, this offer ends on September 1st, 2024. Join us today and see what the Accelerator is all about. Let's talk about flute.